Let's take a look at command line basics. Brace expansion. Brace expansion creates multiple text strings from a pattern. The pattern takes the form of an unchanging preamble followed by a variable expansion component followed by an unchanging postscript. The varying part of the pattern is enclosed by a pair of curly braces. The constant part before the opening brace is called a preamble, and the constant part trailing after the closing brace is a postscript. Let's try to use echo to see how brace expansion works. This pattern has expanded into three text strings. Each string has the same preamble at the beginning, and the same postscript at the end. The middle part of each string varies and is present in the same order as specified in the pattern. Brahms, Beethoven, Bach, Brahms, Beethoven, Bach. If we had changed the order in the pattern, the order would be correspondingly different in the created strings. Both the preamble and the postscript are optional. Here, we expand a pattern with a preamble but no postscript. Here, we expand a pattern with a postscript, but no preamble. And finally, we expand a pattern with no preamble and with no postscript. Now, let's try to use brace expansion with a preamble that includes white space. Here, Bash considers I, Love, and Brahms, Beethoven, Bach to be separate tokens. As a result, the brace expansion is performed, but I, Love is not considered a preamble to the brace expansion. To get around this problem, Let's try enclosing I love in quotes. This is slightly better, 
Now Bash sees two tokens instead of three. The first token is the quoted string I love, and the second token is Brahms, Beethoven, Bach. But Bash still, in this case, does not consider I love to be a preamble to the brace expansion. We can fix this by placing the quoted string immediately adjacent to the brace expansion with no intervening spaces. Now, in this case, Bash sees only one token, the entire string, where I love is taken to be a preamble because it immediately precedes the opening brace with no intervening white space. Finally, let's add an additional space but place it inside the quoted preamble and also add a postscript. I'm adding a space but placing it inside the quoted preamble and leaving no intervening space between the preamble and the start of the pattern inside the braces. Finally, I'm going to place a postscript, a single period. A brace expansion can contain a comma-separated list of strings, as we have just seen. It can also contain a range of integers or characters using the operator dot dot. Let's try to use echo to see how to specify a range in brace expansion. Notice that I am not placing a space between the preamble and the pattern to be expanded. An underscore is fine but a space is not. This is expanded to five strings. Number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. We can also use a sequence of characters with the dot dot operator. Here, the pattern has expanded to a sequence of lowercase letters. Integers within a brace expansion can be zero padded. Here, we have zero padded numbers 1 through 9. And here we have zero padded numbers 90 through 100. Brace expansions can also specify numbers in reverse order. Here we have something expanded to strings where the numerical part is in reverse order from 5 through 1. Brace expansions can specify a range of characters as we have seen above and character ranges can also be reversed.
we observe that this character range has expanded to lowercase characters in reverse order. Brace expansions can also be nested. Let's work through this expansion part by part. In the expansion, the preamble, lowercase a, and the postscript, lowercase b, are constant. In the variable part of the expression, the brace expression is a list of items separated by comma. So, bash starts with the first item, a12. This is a brace expansion as well. This expands to two strings, uppercase a1 and uppercase a2. So, the first two strings produced for the entire expansion are a, a1, b, and a, a2, b. Now, the first nested brace expansion is complete. Bash now starts with the second item, B34. The next two strings produced are the expansions B3, which is then prepended with the preamble A and postpended with the suffix B, followed by the expansion B4 ultimately resulting in A, B4, B. Brace expansions are particularly useful for making lists of files or directories where the names are of a fixed format. For example, imagine that we want to organize a sequence of photos by month and year. We may wish then to create a series of directories in numeric format in chronological order. Instead of creating the directories one by one using the command makedir by hand, we can use a command using brace expansion. Now, using a single makedir command, we can create a series of directories. With this one command, we have created directories for all of the months over a range of 10 years.